I'm a little sweaty. I just finished riding my Peloton and uh, I'm sweating to death. <laughs> hello, hello. Today we're going to talk about the Fenty Beauty new uh, eavesdrop blur stick. This is brand new and I tried the, I think I have a video still on my channel about it. It's a long time ago, so quality is probably not great. But I tried out the original blur, like the liquid formulation. She just came out with the stick formulation. So we're gonna go ahead and play with it today. Let's go ahead and read about it. It is $35. They have a ton of new shades. I think that it matches the shade range that the original liquid formula had, but they have a ton of shades, $35. It is cream formula, long wearing, medium coverage, light coverage. They have both those highlights on there. Hydrating, uh, black owned at Sephora. A light coverage, I just picked my nose. A light coverage, long wearing, long wear tint stick with a creamy smooth texture that instantly blurs while melting into skin for a natural finish. Coverage light to medium. Finish natural, formulation cream. This crease proof formula delivers a blurred, smooth, second skin finish that resists fading and transferring. Easy to use, the stick helps with all day hydration and contains color true pigments that resist oxidation. Plus it's 100% recyclable. How to use. Prep skin with Hydrovisor moisturizer, sold separately. Of course, we're pushing our own products. Products For the ultimate skincare base, letting it dry down before your complexion step. For light coverage, Apply directly to skin across your cheeks, forehead, nose, and chin. Blend with your fingers or the full bodied foundation brush, of course. For extra blurring benefit, press into skin with the precision makeup sponge. For fuller coverage, load product directly onto the full bodied foundation brush. Press and blend where needed. The more pressure you apply when you swipe, the more coverage you get. Try eavesdrop blurring skin tint sold separately for even more coverage. I'm sweating. Anyway, we're gonna keep it moving, even though I probably look like a sweaty hot mess. And I turned my air conditioning off so you're not hearing the air conditioning because it's kind of loud. Anyway, I remember trying the liquid formula and not really liking it. It just, it transferred everywhere, like it got on everything. Uh, it did a good job, but like, I, think, I feel like it looked pretty nice on the skin, but I just feel like, and but also that was my first foundation that I ever tried. And I was really nervous about it and how it was gonna look how comfortable I was gonna feel wearing it out in public, but I just don't remember like loving, loving it. Uh, I remember trying it different ways to try to figure it out, but just never really loved it. This formula seems like it's going to be a, a lot better. I did get the shade 11. I don't really love the packaging. It does feel kind of cheap to me, but let's just hope that the product is snatched. So let's go ahead and put this on the face. I feel like I got the perfect color because when I just swatched it right now, uh, to show you the close-up swatch, it like blended right into my skin. So I'm really excited about that. I do remember the color matching being really good for my other one. Okay, let's grab a mirror. We're gonna put it on half the face. All I have is moisturizer, sunscreen, you know the drill. And so we're just gonna do a little under the eye, forehead, just a little bit to see how we're doing. See, this color match is like really good. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sweating. Okay, let me grab a brush. We're gonna start moving this around. Okay, well that blended so easy. I'm just blending my sweat <laughs> with the foundation. It's great. Okay, so that was just a couple swipes. I feel like it looks nice. I think we're gonna try to build just a little bit more to see where we go with this, but like, this is great because you can really control. Like, it starts off light, and then you can keep building it, I think. So I like that, so it's not like a cakey hot mess. So let's just add just a little bit more, like here. I'm not doing any concealer today because I want to see how it works, so we're just gonna do a little bit more under the eye, and we're gonna try to build it up, and then just a little bit more on the forehead. So let's just try to press this in to get a little bit more coverage under the eye. And then we'll blend this out. Damn, on initial application, this is, I'm hitting a bunch of home runs. Like, I don't know what order I'm gonna upload all this stuff in, but I the last couple of products that I've tried have been super bomb. This is freaking bomb. It's definitely blurring. It's kind of like a creamy matte formula, which is super nice. It's buildable, so you could really amp this up and keep going. 
but I like that it's just like a light wash of coverage, just kind of evens you out a bit and makes you look nice. So done side, undone side. Right off the bat, I'm really, 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 really liking this. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side of the face. We'll see the finished look and then we'll start the wear test. Okay, I did add a little bit of concealer just cause I wanted just a little bit of more coverage under the eyes. I just did the L'Oreal True Match Concealer Crayon, which I used, I used uh, a long time ago and I really liked it and I'm kind of back into it now that I found that Jode's Road Pencil. Uh, definitely a cheaper option. This is a little bit more creamy. Uh, I might do a full dedicated video on it and do like side by side. But anyway, moving on. I did add a little bit of concealer because I did want a little bit more coverage under my eyes, but this looks so nice on the skin. I'm not going to powder it today. We're gonna see how it does today without powder, but right now it's like settling down really nicely. It looks so nice. It's not creasy, it's not cakey, it's just evening me out, it's blurring, it's just, this is fantastic right off the bat. I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get into our wear test. I will check back in with you and see how we're doing, but uh, I'm excited. <laughs> I've been wearing this for a couple hours now and I am absolutely loving this. It looks so good on the skin. I am getting a little shiny here and here, but otherwise it's not getting crazy. So I think we're just gonna powder a little bit before I head into the office, just in the T zone. This is amazing. It's freaking amazing. Like, it's so good. <laughs> this is a knockout product and I 100% stand behind this, recommend this. It's so good. Run out, get it. This is the best for light coverage, natural looking foundation, kind of just evening out the skin, but it looks so natural. Uh, the one thing that I would say that it's so light coverage, I haven't really really built it up yet, but it's so light coverage that I would say you probably need just a little bit of concealer with it, but that is the only thing. Like, even if you don't like wearing concealer, then this is perfect on its own. So anyway, slam dunk. This is a slam dunk, the best foundation that I've ever tried. Honestly, hands down, the best. Thank you so much for joining me on this review. I will link down below a playlist to all of my other reviews. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. So hit that subscribe button to check out my other videos upcoming. And let me know in the comments what you want me to review. I'm happy to review whatever. Uh, so anyway, yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this review and I will check you on the next one.